I have been up to the neck in devolution and the political issues involved in devolution for something like uh, 10 years. On the March the 1st, we have to decide the first constitutional issue of vital importance to Scotsmen since the Act of Union. I'm not sure yet how far the importance of that constitutional issue is appreciated in our country. It is a very heavy responsibility because we could be setting the pattern of life for future generations of Scotsmen. I think it's true to say that Scotland is overgoverned already, with the regions, the districts, the community councils, uh, and the rest. And I'm determined that the next Conservative government will reverse this trend and place the emphasis once more on the individual citizen, the family, and on their needs and ambitions. And that is the sense in which I, too, am a passionate devolutionist at heart. I'm not convinced by the present devolution model currently before Parliament. Surely the last thing that Scotland needs or the Scottish people want is another layer of government, another swathe of bureaucracy to support when you have so many already. The true devolution is away from government of every kind at every level and back to the citizen. If there is to be an elected assembly, it is essential that that assembly should raise a percentage of its own revenue. Representation without the power to tax is a recipe for political irresponsibility. The government has refused to adopt a system of proportional representation for the election of the Assembly. In the second reading of the bill in the House of Lords, I said that the attitude of the government on this matter would probably make all the difference to how I should vote. And I said that for this reason, which has been enhanced almost a hundredfold since I made the point. In recent years in British politics, and we have a vivid illustration of this today, there has been a swing to the extremes of right and the extremes of left. And I believe that the general feeling in this country now is that the middle ground of politics ought to be given a greater say in the decisions as they affect the affairs of the nation. And this is an opportunity to correct this trend in British politics, and I think it should be taken. Scottish members of Parliament will be able, under this bill, to vote on English bills in the fields, for example, of health and education, while English members will have no say at all in comparable bills regarding respecting legislation for Scotland. That, at best, will cause confusion at Westminster in the lobbies, and at worst will lead to serious friction between the Scottish Assembly and the English members of the Westminster Parliament. And apart from anything else, the arrangement is patently unfair. 